Hi guys, this is Silver Sprout. Um, I am making a video on Shadow Spire Cathedral. It's the new dungeon um, in Ultima Online, or Ultima Outlands, excuse me. Uh, it's a very difficult dungeon, great for groups, uh, really good for solo too if you can manage it. It just depends on your aspect level and um, your build. Uh, types of pets you have basically. Uh, Dexters can go in there too on their own and so can mages. Just depends on how tactical you are in the dungeon. So I did just try um, Shadow Spire and I got basically attacked by uh, griefers or thieves or whatever you want to call them. Um, so I'm going to try again here. See if I have better luck this time. Ended up getting in a fight and very annoying. Never fun when you have a gray uh, player attacking you and their friends healing them. Alright, so these guys hurt really bad, the iron gargoyles. Um, they're just really strong with their cooldown ability. I typically wear fortune armor rather than my water, but uh, I really like water armor down here just because it's such a good uh, aspect for the extra weapon procs. That might be well, like almost one shot that person. It's going to attack us, but we're okay with that. The other tamer will take care of that guy, maybe. Maybe not. Just be careful for an object here. here is absolutely amazing. It's a world of a difference. Let's get this other guy that's killing us. There we go. I didn't mean to pick up that silk actually. Let's drop that. So a lot of mobs here on level 1, um, they do moves that can pretty much one-shot you. And then level 2 is a lot of AoE uh, disease, which is where I'd like to go. I like level 2 more just because uh, level 1 has some griefers and PKs. Level 2 generally has no one because not many people want to dive that deep in this dungeon. Level 3 is just hell. Let's just say that. I have not seen any groups farming level 3 yet. Um, all the mobs are just sitting there untouched. There's cool portal rooms too. Uh, it brings you to old locations I guess that past shards had. Uh, I've not been to them myself but uh, because it's my first shard basically. Let's get this answer. You don't want the marksman and the lancer. That's bad news. He's after one of my dragons or drakes, so the nice thing is uh, hindering it prevents him from doing anything. I don't know where the marks went. Oh, there he is. Probably attacked someone else and killed them. The marksmen are the strongest ones in here, in this area. 
for single targeting. They'll one shot most builds. Once you have like really good armor on. Everything drops great loot. Alright, let's get him. Most tanks he'll take out too in like three hits with his cooldown. But water suit, I swear by it down here, it gives you super big heals for your pets. Uh, the extra hinders from your archery. Really big hits actually too, which I like. I know when people focus on pet damage, big hits don't matter, but it matters to me. The next enemy, the bard there, those are kind of tough, uh, depending on who you are. Um, I just need more of those on my shelf. Take that too. So the bard, um, it takes control of your pets, which is kind of a weird ability, I guess, that I've never seen before. It takes control of you too, so I'm kind of stuck here for a second. There we go. Main thing is we just want to hinder it, so then we can uh, take care of our pet here, heal it up. Hindering is like your secret move here, <laughs> for this build at least. There are other ways to... Uh, do this dungeon. I can't heal it, I guess. Really interesting mobs, though. Uh, let's see who he calls. Yeah. Like, literally everything drops where he calls scrolls. Very good for us. For the Dexers. So, this is my favorite loop here. I just go around the outside circle. The inside circle has a lot of uh, disease. It's a fun thing to farm, fun area to farm with a group. Um, as a solo, you get overwhelmed pretty easily in there. About here, you can take one mob at a time. And they have zero armor, I think. Yeah, good for Dexers. Could use Dex pets here too. I just don't. I uh, haven't tried Dex pets out in this area yet. Just like the mage pets since they hit 100% um, of the time. It's okay if you can't hinder it, you can just heal through. Water suit, you heal a ton. Um, other suits, your tank will probably die if you're using the Lemura. Command would be fine too because it uh, mitigates damage quite a bit. So up here, this is the mini boss room, and then in that room and to the left, or to the west is uh, the main boss room. So you have to run through all these mobs after a boss too, which is no fun. These guys are easy. The Lancers. I might make it look easy, but if you try this, uh, you may not find it as easy. 
Don't be fooled. Grab the widow. She's almost dead, so take care of her. She just does a AoE move one time every I think it's 15 seconds or maybe 12 seconds, I don't know. Then she does some magic, but that's it. She's not that strong. Lots of gold though. Like everything in here drops more than a demon, basically. Alright, let's see. Let me check these great bugs. That's where they spawn if you're curious. New tameable. I've tested them out too, uh, just on test server, and they're not bad. They're more of a boss pet, uh, really good for the disease, long-term damage, and they have high armor. And they also have uh, poison and special resistance, which is great. It's like the regular roach, except with disease. Oh shit. the bard and the marksman they're all out in the hallway or the outer courts let's see that guy died here earlier okay all good oh yeah well the stairs are taken by mobs <laughs> that happens a lot let's wait it out These aren't super hard bombs down here. I mean, they are and they aren't at the same time. It's just we need to find our way around and there we go. They'll all pretty much one shot you if you're not careful. Alright. So that was my little tutorial, or not even tutorial, let's call it a. Um, little bit of a walkthrough through a very small part of the new dungeon. Uh, it is pretty huge. The portal jumping is really neat actually. Um, I should just show that real fast. I'll go back out and show that. It's fun to portal jump and see what you get. Um, there's some spots that you can farm pretty easily on your own other spots that are nearly impossible even in a group um, you need like a group of four or five to really be safe let's see now got everything okay I guess we're gonna have to fight our way through that's okay I like fighting these crimson uh, gargoyles with the Lemura because all they do really is bleed damage. They don't do much else. Magic. That's not hard. Lemura uh, has protection against bleed. 66% chance that it won't happen. That a tick won't happen anymore. The other ones are all physical damage. See, a lot of times you can get on and no one's really on this floor, floor one. Um, so you can get a lot of uh, good mobs. Those guys you don't want to be around at all. And the beats are not fun to fight. That person might try to tame it, because it's not bad. Yeah, I figured they'd try to tame it. I don't want 
any part of that. I already got all the ones I need. They do major AoE, those guys. Each spell that they have, I think it's like probably a 50% chance that it does double damage on you. Like these poison ones. That's yeah, alright. Try to kill him. Yeah, what you want is spell damage, charge, chance, and higher attack speed than that. That's not that great. Oops. Not mean to grab that. This is like a Skinner's Paradise, too. There's lots of, uh, mobs here you can skin. No one's taking gold, that's kind of weird, huh? On that one, at least. But yeah, there's so many mobs here, and they're all high difficulty level. So, uh, they give a lot of skins and, uh, regs. These ones always throw me off because they um, their cooldown ability sounds like fortune proccing. So when I was wearing fortune I always thought that I got a proc, but I did not, sadly. this guy, which means these gargoyles, they drop pretty good uh, rare loot, or a high chance of dropping rare loot. These guys are only 76 or so. I'm working on tier 14 water right now. Finally decided to do that. All right, let's go. We're going to the portals. Very scary, but we'll take a chance just to show a little video of it. So random portals appear and disappear in this room, and also to the north uh, northeast. And we're gonna go ahead and jump in this portal that's existing here. We'll see what happens. So this is actually the best one. Um, the orcs are here. And they drop tons of loot for their difficulty level. They have 290 through like 350 difficulty. And they really don't do anything. I mean they do something. They do some magic and physical uh, damage, but they're very easy compared to anywhere else in the dungeon. And if you're a mage, it's a great place for you because these guys drop regs like crazy. So you'll never run out of regs. Wish they dropped arrows and bolts, but they do not. been crashing a lot lately, so if there's a freeze in the video like I just had there. Just makes me nervous. Uh, let's see. Yes. 
so this one's 392 difficulty level, which is insane. And as you can see, it doesn't really do anything. It does a spell every once in a while, but it can't even hit the Lemura because it's magic reflect. If I stop hindering it, then it might do something. Tons of orcs here too, so they um, they spawn pretty regularly. Oops, um, that's fine. That's a major thing with this build too. You're kind of hoping on a hinder so you can go in and heal. Then get out of the AoE. If needed though, you just drink a uh, magic resist. Get in close. Heal as much as you can. Try to get a rare drop from these guys. They draw uh, work down. so he won't do AoE. Just physical damage. Good. Yeah, and once you're done farming in an area like this, uh, in one of the portals, you just go back out the portal and it brings you in a random place in the dungeon. Which is kind of a problem sometimes. Depends on where you're brought. The worst place, I think, to be brought is the boss room. You have to fight your way out. one more of these guys after this work. Two of them. Two stacks. Perfect. Um, let's see if we can't get this guy. Yeah. Another 
2951. We might as well kill all of them and try to get rare. And that's another thing too, each of these uh, individual rooms, they drop special rares. So this particular one, like I said earlier, they drop Orc Dung. Uh, I haven't seen what the other rooms drop yet. I'm not sure they're farmed enough yet to drop a rare for most people. Nice, it wasn't that nice. It was alright. That's full, okay. Let's see here, let's drop that. Let's take these two guys out and uh, see if they drop any rare. Then we can get out of here. Um, I don't want to track both of them. There we go. And on the way out, basically I'll drink a strength potion, grab everything I can. Bolt. I'd like to fight more of the 395 difficulty ones. If some of you haven't been here yet, um, you might notice this is one of uh, the older locations in another Ultima game. I don't know the name of everything because this is my first Ultima game, but uh, my guildmates have told me about it. The work for it used to be like a favorite place to farm or something. the hard part. We don't know where we're going. Oh, we got lucky. It sent us right to the entrance. Nice. Alright guys, um, thank you for watching, uh, whenever you do. 
Um, if you want any more videos specifically about uh, any taming topics, uh, maybe new pets, um, I have been testing new pets on test server and uh, I have some, I guess, insights about certain ones and where they're good at, what they're good for. Uh, but yeah, uh, drop some comments below and I will see you for the next video. Have a great night. Bye.